Alright there, ladies and gentlemen. John Sweetpea here. Welcoming, welcome, welcoming you back for part 3 of Sang Jiao's campaign. Last time around, we beat a bunch of bandits who claimed to be yellow turbans. But now that all the yellow turban business has been resolved and Sang Jiao is renewed with a sense of purpose, it's time to head to the battle at Shang Ban and see what he's up to. A familiar road. Uh, where are we running to? And what is that we are running from? Ah, you chosen children of the Yellow Turban. Do you yet believe in me? Will you still follow where I lead? Maybe if you Wait, carry up. Once again, the way of peace shall guide us on this treacherous path. Flee, my children, paradise awaits. Place your faith in me, for I shall not lead you astray. <laughs> okay, that felt very weird to me. I mean, that's the cutscene that's you. And the weird thing is, is that it's the cutscene used by the Shu forces, yet we're in the opposite position. I don't get it. This that would have probably made a bit more sense, except when you look at the map screen, we are apparently chasing down the Han forces. Ah, huh. go figure. All right, I think I need an introduction after that confusing cutscene. Zhang Jiao is still unable to forsake those who had followed him so loyally. Was there nothing that could be done for them? If the Han Dynasty could not be changed, then why not create a new utopia for themselves? Okay. Though once he was in danger of losing all hope, Zhang Jiao's faith had been restored through the trust of his followers. Zhang Jiao leads his people out of the Central Plains and heads south. A mass exodus is about to begin. Okay. From behind, Wan Shao's anti-yellow turban force is quickly closing in. To protect his followers and stay true to his ideals, Zhang Jiao must neutralize this threat. The quest for the promised land would still continue. Ah, one shall. So, I guess he's going to be the commander then, is he? So it would appear. Somewhat. So then, for the turbans, there's us, Sang Jiao. There's Zhang Ria. Holy crap, he's got five sub officers. Jesus, that's a lot of sub officers right there. I've never seen anyone have five before. Four, yes, but not five. Man, hope he doesn't die. We lose a lot of people. And Shang Bao up there, who has four sub officers, and Shang Men Sheng, who has three. And then a group of peasants. And for the Han forces. Well, it appears Wan Shao is not present at the moment, but he left some of his subordinates. Wan Zi, Wan Tan, Wan Yang, Wen Shao, Han Meng. And also, Guan Yu. Leading Shun Kun Yong and Wu Lei Kuang and Shang Fei. Huh. Weird. Wan Shao. Okay, granted it's the anti Yellow Turban Coalition, but it's still kind of weird to see Guan Yu and Wen Shao on the same page, especially since all the cutscene history between Guan Yu and these guys. Anyway, let's check out the conditions because I'm. Alright, so. Victory. Wan Shao is defeated. Defeat. Zhang Zhao is killed, or all civilians are eliminated. Oh, okay. Well, this is kind of neat. There's no escape needed, I guess. So we're not racing to get to the end of the level. We just basically have to kill Wan Shao while protecting our civilians. That's kind of an interesting twist, actually. So instead of waiting for free, we have to kind of keep them away from the peasants. I kind of like this change. This could make the mission way more interesting and less of a rush. Alright, weapon wise, we're still going to be using our Mirage stuff. Item wise, well, the Elixir we really did work out quite nicely last time. So I think we may still use it again. In fact, I think we'll keep the same build actually so we can fill the build up our bodyguard. So attack, defense, the bodyguard manual to keep them stronger, the Elixir to keep our charge up, and HP to boost our health. Now, I was suggested by uh, Trent Fifth, actually, to try using the Way of Muzu. So that the Fire Muzu will blaze twice and not 
want. I would be willing to try that, but at this moment in time, I want to kind of get my bodyguards powered up. So I'm going to sacrifice that, but I will definitely try that in a future mission, uh, Trent Fit. So we're going to be sticking with that for now. Bodyguard-wise, I think they got a new weapon. Oh yes, they did. They got an upgraded spear with a bit more attack than Muzu, which doesn't really matter at this point since we just want them to survive. So, as usual, they're on defense, and basically the entire purpose is just don't die. <laughs> don't die whatsoever. So, with that in mind, I guess we're just going to have to sort of take our time and cut down the Han forces. Huh. So, an example of a mission where the actual mission has somewhat changed. I'm kind of surprised, Extreme Legends. You've thrown me a curveball. My children, hold me a little more. It's creepy. We shall cut our way through. At least I don't think I don't know if we do have to actually escape with the civilians, but it certainly isn't a mission to get to the escape point, so I can only assume it's just keep the guys alive. Wow. I just realized how weirdly the yellow turbans and the one shell uniforms blend into each other. I mean look at this, they blend into each other quite scurly well. The only difference being is that the one shell forces look a bit more well, Han Force, but whatever, the one shall's troops. Oh, what matters. Oh god, here we've got some archers already. We better deal with them. Hope you like fire! Burn! And somehow I got hit in by block there. Very weird. Anyway, let's get this Zun Shen character up into the air and. Ooh, can I climb it? Oh no, I can't. I want it afterwards, but, ah, well. Speaking of that, um, I was given a rather interesting comment by, um, 4 Wake 2 I'm going to do a quick move here just to finish him off, if possible. Um, 4 Wake 1 basically suggested that I'd be spending a lot of... He basically suggested that I'd spent a lot of time obsessing over combos in uh, previous videos that I was obsessed, getting a little bit obsessed with using combos and stuff. Don't we use the horse? Uh, yeah, let's pick up the horse, why not? Around here, not really. Kind of still gunning solo-ish. But very cautiously, of course. He basically said I was obsessed with combos. Now, in fairness... Oh. What was that sound effect? <laughs> You insist on blocking our path. Then let your eyes burn upon the wonders of one who follows the way of peace. <laughs> Watch as sparks appear around me. Ah! No, you do not, Mr. Wan Sheng. I can't see now because the camera's facing the wrong way. Kind of disadvantage of the Muzo, I guess, is that you can't really take the camera too well. So basically, I, I've been obsessed over combos, so which he does have a point. I have kind of been fixating on combos a little bit recently. But in fairness to my own obsession, this game does prioritize using combos a bit more than Dynasty Warriors 3. Hence the fact they introduced the combo meter and bonuses are now related to combos and all that. So, in fairness, I have a reason to sort of be trying to get these good combos, especially since they also deliver better items. But, he does have a point, I shouldn't really obsess over them as much as I have been doing. I, I shouldn't be talking about them and always going, Ah, another dropped combo, when it's clearly obvious that one Shang Jiao is a bit shit for comboing, it seems. So I'm going to try and not do that so much, and much appreciated for 4 Leg 1 for pointing that out to me, because previously I wouldn't have thought that be an issue. And hence why I want more comments. People like that saying, what's wrong, what's right, and I can improve my own wet place. Much appreciated. If you find anything else that you dislike about the videos or think I could improve on, uh, feel free to let me know. I always appreciate trying to better my work, you know. Constructive criticism like that is what's going to make everyone's experience better in the long run. Still would getting a good combo, of course, but I shouldn't obsess over that anymore. Anyway, time for you to die, one tan. So far, bodyguard status alive. 
Oh no! He must have. Oh wow! Oh no! You better not freaking grind that. Oh, I'm. I'm just gonna gamble here on hitting him with his Amuzu, but he's probably. Oh, he hasn't healed up. Whoa! Okay, now you've had it. Time for true Muzu. Let's see what this is. Hmm, same thing, but he does it. Huh, I guess that's what Trent Fifth meant. He did it twice. Also, these bodyguards are taking. A, they're taking a few hits, but their health is barely down. I guess that bodyguard manual is really doing wonders for them. Ah. If we can keep them alive on this mission, we'll get they'll get a ton of points. Let's hope that remains the case. Alright, so one tan's been eliminated. No one seems to be getting close to the uh Hmm. This doesn't really the middle doesn't really serve all that well as a ranged attack, really. It's got some range, I guess, but not entirely. Alright. Get lost. Now then, let's go clear that gate. Basically, though, we should. Oh, for Pete's sake. Really? Oh, I miss Wu Boo. Wu Boo would never get knocked off a horse because he'd swam everyone away. Here I have to deal with a very clunky staff. But hey, if every campaign was like Wu Boo's, this one would be fun, would it? It'd be too easy. And to think this is not even the and to think this is not even sort of the most well weakest character arguably. I mean that that honor is probably being reserved for somebody else of the bit later on. So now let's go and get that gate closed. So actually somehow our forces have managed to get all the way over to the other side already. Unless they were there from the beginning, I just haven't paid attention. But it seems like they've stretched themselves out quite a bit, like scattered groups or something. There, Muzu here real quick to avoid. Wow. <laughs> if you burn too many of them, the game struggles to cope, and hence goes into a sort of, well, freeze, mini freeze kind of thing when too much is happening at once. It's kind of clever that, actually, now that I think about it, because it's basically a way for the game to sort of handle the uh, intense action. It just sort of cuts the UI out. I've mentioned this in the past, and it's a pretty clever technical thing, really. Which means that, really, this game runs really smoothly. And look at that. It very rarely, this game will slow down. Very, very rarely. I have to admit, this elixir is kicking ass. I'm getting so many Muzu combos off, it's ridiculous. I am definitely using this from now on, I think. So the look, I'll take this. No more having to wait for my special invulnerability attack. So, gate captain's eliminated. Now we should be able to proceed. At least, I would have said that if I was playing as Wu Boo, but because I'm not, I'm probably going to have to fight a bunch of cannon fodder just to get on my horse. Which I stole. Still, find his keepers. An old fur in woven war. Insert your own cliched catchphrase here. Still, I'm really glad I don't have to rush this mission. I mean, the thing about Shang Bon is it's a great mission for sort of being a bit different in the... Uh, oh shit, was that the... Oh god. I very nearly missed out on the gate captain bonus there, which I completely forgot about. <laughs> Whoops. That was nearly a big miss. <laughs> Lucky me. Alright, Wen Shao. I would have Guan Yu take you out, but unfortunately he's on your side, so instead, I will have to do it. But I'm kind of glad, I mean, it's a unique mission in the game, and it's not just basically kill the enemy commander. Oh, can I get him to do that? Nope. Not happening. Maybe his uh, fifth combo will slightly help. Perhaps. We will see. I defeated an officer. I defeated him. What evil laugh Alright, so I think the peasants are moving down now, so I guess we'll just keep going on this path. There's no real reason to deviate for now. And I bet you one shower's gonna appear where the boat is. Uh oh. Oh boy. And suddenly one shower's shown up. Oh god. One shower. Lu Bei and Shang Yi. Oh shit, this is bad. Where are the peasants? One, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, this is... this is not good. Hmm, he's appeared right behind the peasants. 
I mean, we don't have to w save all the peasants. We can afford to lose, like, four out of five, and thankfully they do seem to be retreating, but some of them have been caught up in that fight. Now, I would be tempted to actually just go back there, fight one shower, and end this mission, but I want to get as many officer kills as possible. And, of course, item drops and so forth to power up Zhang Jiao, because I'm going to need it later, considering he's a little less sort of useful than, say, Wu Bu at dealing with things by himself. Muzu spam aside, of course, that's pretty much the major asset to Zhang Jiao. The Muzu spam is really good at clearing, but that's about it. Ooh, wow, timed that pretty well. Maybe I should try that again, so as soon as he comes out, I'm gonna... Oh no, the catches though. That's actually not a bad idea, that. Just a triangle soon after kicking into the air. Alright, let's keep moving. Hopefully, if we move up far enough, the peasants will follow suit. I think they are doing, actually, so it should be good. As long as we keep moving, we can put ourselves in a nice little corner and bottleneck one Shao's minions. Then if all the peasants will be safe. If we stay around too long, the morale will go up and, well, the advantage will go to the Han forces. Try to remember the Han forces, not one Shao's men, but can you blame me for being confused? Especially when they're all, everything I've fought so far is pretty much one Shao colors. No, you can't, really. There's some weird noise when he attacks, too. Well, let's just see if I can... Damn. I want him all. Oh, I... Oh, I thought I was a sub-officer for a second there, but no. Alright, so that's him eliminated. Don't you dare try and kill my bodyguards, you creeps. Leave them alone. Oh, no, please no more joining. Joining bad. Alright, let's go. So that's two subs down. Sub officers, that is. Ah, now we see some green shoe army uniforms. Now where's your leaders? Ignore all those guys. Hello, Guan Yu. Feel the power of the blue dragon. You're like, yeah, you're not on red hair. You're supposed to be on red hair, dude. Alright. Let's see who will prevail between Mighty Stick and Flaming Staff. Oh, no. <laughs> I was going to say I dropped him, but I didn't. He he, con he conveniently chose to wake up right into my fire. Oh. Haha, <laughs> good thing his second attack is kind of bad. Oh, no, I missed. Oh, no. Peasants have died. That's bad. That is bad. I underestimated you. You certainly did. Now go home before I send you beard. <laughs> oh no, we've lost the first of five peasants. We can't have them all lose like that. That is not good. But unfortunately, they were probably the foolish peasants who got stuck in the middle of the forces. There's very little we could have done for them. Oh well. There has to be some sacrifices. Let's see if the white horse will... Yeah, I can ride it. Cool. Right. I'm just going to check... Yep, yeah, thankfully the rest of the peasants are smart and are actually deciding to retreat. They are obviously the smart ones. So I'm going to blaze through these guys and cut this gate off and then we will pretty much have our ideal situation. The peasants will hopefully stay near the boats. Maybe whether or not the boats will show up, I can't say. But in any way, they should be far away from the advancing army of one Shao and company. And that will give us just what we need. I am so glad to. I Thank you. I think it might have been Trent Fifth who suggested this. But thank you for suggesting this elixir change in uh, items. This has been a fantastic... Discovery. I mean, really underestimated this item. Much like one you underestimated to me. If there any other item suggestions that you think would work well, feel free to put them in the comments. I'd love to see if there's anything else I can do to improve my game. Although I don't know what else I could really add at this point. I mean, this seems to be a pretty solid setup, if, providing you don't want speed in your missions. 
Oh, hello. Oh, so we are going to get rescue boats after all. Oh, okay. Ah, the heavens have aided us. No, we haven't. I think it was your own guys. My children, that ship will take us to paradise. Or some dead island. Ah, uh, that ship will take us to paradise. I'm a. I have no word for that. But okay, so I guess the peasants can. Does that change the conditions at all? No, it doesn't change anything really. I don't know if we'll win if we get the civilians to the boats, and whether it just wasn't mentioned in the condition notes or whatever. But hey, at least the peasants have somewhere to try and to escape to now. Now, I'm just being kind of foolish here and going behind enemy lines because, sod it, I want to go behind enemy lines and kill people. Wow, it's raining out here. Hmm. Localized climate. Interesting. Didn't think there was rain. I didn't think there'd be rain back here, but hey, at least we get to see a part of the map that you point. Ooh, I got a good. Hooray, I actually got something combo-wise for once. Hey, now I'm happy. So that's one we on beat down. Hell, is there anyone else back here? Yes, there is one other guy. I knew you going to be a pain, so I'm going to kill you. Holy crap, 350 kills already? Damn, that Muzu is really good for mowing people down. So, one young is defeated. Be a bit of a hand. And Zong is running over there too. Shame we couldn't have had this bottleneck a bit earlier, but I guess we sort of scattered out like idiots. Still, if we take this guy out, this will help. Oh, he goes straight for me! Gotta want that super aggressive AI that goes with the player. Oh, oh! I can actually catch him in mid-air with the uh, fireballs from the Muzu. Which is interesting. It just requires a lot of skill. Ugh! Ah, oh, you prick. I'm letting you recover health, which, as we are, as people will know, yeah, it likes to do as soon as it knocks you back. Usually, likes to recover as best as it can, but in this case, no dice. Oh, I found a life foot container. That's good. You know, I'm not been looking out for them now that I think about it. That's because I'm on maps. I don't know their locations. I wonder if anyone knows where the life up and Muzu ups are in Dynasty Warriors Three Extreme Legends. I'm gonna kill the archers. We got to, we got a bit more pressing business to do. But yeah, kind of cool. I guess I should explore those more often. Hmm. The music seems to be cutting out in burst around here for some reason. It is not that, easy to pass. that is one bold peasant. It is not that easy to pass. Who do you think you are, Impressive. generic officer? You made these peasants will be my future generic officers, so I've got to cut them some slack. Alright, so there's only one officer standing in the way. Morale's high. Things are looking good for the yellow turbots. And even my subordinates are gaining their share of kills. Impressive. Ah, but Shang Fei stands in the way. He'll be a bit of a turkey one. So Shu bringing up the rear, I see. So be it. They will burn all the same. Such is the fate of everything that comes into contact with my staff. Better be careful. Probably might pull a Muzu in a second. They usually like to bust out the Muzus early if they don't use them prior. In higher difficulties, I think they change how they use the Muzu as well. So you got to keep that in mind at higher difficulty, it's not easy to just combo them like this. They'll probably counter-attack you a lot more often. I'm out of here. See ya. So don't trust me. Don't think that you're always going to be able to get to combo the officers like that. On higher difficulties, they'll bust out muses, they'll block, they'll do all kinds of things. So the uh, exit is clear. Now we can head back and deal with the remainder of Wan Shao's men. And a bunch of Chu people as well. Perfect. So better be careful not to run over my own peasants on the way. On the way back. Let's 
up. Let's see, what other comments are there in the my previous video? Ah, yes, one from Shani Mawek, otherwise known as Darfree. That's his name on the Twitch channel, anyway. The last part of your... Oh, no! Another group of peasants have been killed. Now we're down to three. Good news is there won't be any more civilian deaths. And that's because I'm here now and none of them are getting past me. shang he you camp core using weirdo whatever. You're t you will pay for killing my children. You will pay for knocking me off my horse. And for being archers. You know I don't like archers. Huh. I was about to say is that guy falling, but it's actually not. Get out of the way. Ah, another archer. Get, get lost. Shanghai's Bowman. I guess this is before he joined the uh, way or something. I wonder if we'll ever get to fight the individual nations, or if it's just going to be horn forces all the time. Maybe we'll get to fight some of the other factions. That's not happened yet. To my knowledge, we haven't, the other factions haven't fought each other. I mean, Wubu's army, all they did was. Well, they fighted the Han, and then they fighted a bunch of remnants of Wei, Wu, and Shu. Over the large bit. And then at the very end, we fought Dong Zhuo. It'd be interesting to see a cross uh, character fight at some point between these guys. God. They're trying, to, they're trying their best to kill off people, but. Oh, they're all caught together at the very end of the map. <laughs> Weird. Hmm. Uh, I think I will shut this gate off because I don't want to suddenly come across too many backup guys. It seems to be spawning out reinforcements now. So I'm just going to play ultra cautiously here and shut this gate off so that just in case they try and like spawn a couple of guys over towards my peasant army, which is slowly retreating to the boats. Thankfully. Caught here, unfortunately. Getting up forces in the early Dynasty Warriors games was very difficult. It'd be a lot more convenient later on when you could literally jump off a horse while it was moving. Should have removed some of the pacing, but whatever. That's what the Dynasty Warriors games improved on, among other things. I want my bodyguards have barely gone below any kind of health. That high defense is certainly paying dividends. One shot's got eight stars morale, huh? Won't have for very long. No more chance of backup now. Ah! Man, young one, stop getting in my way. Get the Agnes one more backup, but he won't now. So I'm just trying to read this comment by Shiny Man. Let's see. At the worst part of your Muzu is the main part. Try to get the enemy in the group. I've got Zhang Jiao's fifth weapon. Wow, he must have played a lot of the uh, very hard difficulty where you can get the fifth weapon. Any fire attack is lightning, which is good if you go on Combo Mania and be Dio Chan. If you beat the score, you get a combo item. When you do the third charge attack, as soon as you do it, quickly turn and you will move. Oh, he's also giving some advice on to turn during the uh, combo attacks. Well. I don't know if they'll ever get down to using the fifth weapon hunts. I mean, that's playing on very hard, which will require a really, really built character since the Extreme Legends difficulty on this game is infamous for being what some of the hardest gameplay ever. I mean, I've seen a mission way, way in the past. We're not going to fight one shot just yet. Well, I've seen, um, I'll say in a minute. First, get some more characters in there. I think not, Mr. Claw. You shall die, though. I can actually see you. There's too much action happening at the moment. Oh, he's blocking my fire attacks pretty well. Oh, here he goes. Muzu time. That Muzu can be pretty devastating, but it's very hard to combo with it. But it's good for clearing out people. And if you know how to combo, you're in good hands. Because he's pretty quick, is shang with his... Uh, Attacks, not to be underestimated whatsoever. Yes, we are now. White, we toasted. 
Oh, I so wanted him to walk into that. Oh well, that was four. Excellent. Grace is equally important in retreat. There it is. I oppose all who destroy the peace. Well then, I guess you're on the wrong side, Wu Bei. This one Shao fellow is not very peaceful. At least not to my children. He isn't. So I guess we fight I guess we get to fight all of the Shu Brotherhood then. Oh I actually managed to catch him there. Maybe I underestimated the range of this attack. Oh he seems to be focusing on somebody else besides me. Oh, I got lucky there. I caught him good and proper. So I lack the skills of my brothers, do I? Yeah, at least both your brothers at least got a hit in. Lord Lupe, I've heard that you are a man of compassion. Even after seeing the wretched state of my poor children, you still continue to attack them. He has a point. We are going to pull back. <laughs> what? Oh, what? Uh, okay, um, that was really terrible. <laughs> I mean, that was a great cutscene, and Zhang Jiao was a point, Wu Bei's supposed to be this compassionate guy, but the frigging dialogue was ripped straight from Wu Bei's scene in the Battle of Guangdu. You know, the battle where he fights one shell, funnily enough. You know, if you see him on the other side. Oh yeah, I suppose I should, I suppose, oh, I'm such an idiot, there I'm going, oh, I wonder if the character's going to cross over, this is a crossover, one shall, remember? Ah. <laughs> but he literally took the line straight from the Battle of Guandu, where he fights one shall. That was so weird, and it, 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 it was, it was just weird, I was <laughs> not expecting that. This game, well, this game embraces in being very, it's like a really, you know like those really bad movies with terrible voice dubs and everything? That's what that cutscene felt like. And at times I feel that this game was made on similar production values. Just splicing the old dialogue, sort sort making new stuff. I can only assume that the actor was uh, not available for, uh, even not available, they just didn't want to make some new lines, even though there was plenty. Here I am. So weird. Anyway, I'm my buddy complaining about crossovers, and this is a crossover essentially. One shall. I guess I wasn't thinking of him, I was thinking more of the non mon or something. And yes, we'll get to one shall at some point and see where his vein of terror takes him. I thought we'll get to fight the turbans as one shall, though, right here. We'll probably end up fighting Cow Cow and stuff. Since Cow Cow and One Shall were big rivals. In historical history, anyway. I want to show himself a pretty interesting character. With his sword and all that. Although, again, most of his more interesting points are played out in the fourth Dynasty Warriors game, where there's a bit more of a sort of um, bunch of missions. Oh, wow, he's defeated 50. Oh, no. Good night. Sometimes you must yield. I've never heard of one shall running away dialogue before, to be fair. That's the first time. He usually just dies. So, we are triumphant. Shang Jiao washes his hands. And that was Battle of Shang Ban. Surprisingly entertaining. <laughs> Mostly because I didn't have to panic and run and clear objectives and stuff. So, we made our stand on the bridge and eliminated one tan. After a bit of struggle to get on a horse, we then took out the gate captains, and when Shu fell, then one Shao's forces showed up. Jerks. I took out Han Meng, but unfortunately they eliminated the first of my peasant crew. Guan Yu fell shortly afterwards. The penultimate gate captain must have feared, and I decided to just kill Yan Ryong and Wan Zi, just because my bloodlust for items took precedence. Shang Fei fell, but unfortunately another peasant were brutally cut down by a bunch of privates. 
Then I safeguarded the retreat of my peasants and took out the, the last gate captain, quickly eliminated Wu Bei and Shang Yi, before Wu Bei had a chance to retreat anyway. And then eventually, Wan Shao fell. And what's probably the longest mission to date in Shang Zhao's campaign. Again, of the Mirage Staff, let's see. Bow attack and defense versus speed attack and charge. Hmm, I'm gonna stick with a more offensive minded weapon, I think. Item wise, inferior mount beef on recovery, inferior bow attack. Bodyguard weapon wise. Ooh, they got a new s spear upgrade. That's good. And we'll stick with that one. Alright, so my bodyguards get a slightly better weapon. Ooh, a new bodyguard item. They get Muzu increases now. That'll be useful much, much, much later when they actually become useful. And the bodyguards survived. That was the important thing. They actually survived. So they will get all the benefits that's coming to them. And 13 worthy opponents. Let's see how that adds up to character development. Excellent. One growth point for the bodyguards. Huh, the points are actually mirrored for some reason with Tang Jiao at this point. Third once general. Come on, any more? Ah, oh, short of 13,000. Oh well. A few more class upgrades for Sang Jiao won't go amiss, I suppose. And a little more defense. Why the heck not? Unfortunately, we still only have two of them. But then there's many, many more ranks to come. For the bodyguards. They're doing pretty well under Sang Jiao with his way of peace is giving him much hope. Alright, ranking wise, we maxed out on points. Came six on the KOs. I guess Wu Bu did a lot more killing. And we weren't as fast as our Wu Bu counterpart, but then again, Wu Bu is a much more destructive character. Plus, we had to protect peasants. So, that was that. Pop a quick save and see what's up next for Sang Jiao. Oh, apparently, Wu Biao's a threat. Well, this is a mission I didn't expect to see either. But it seems like we're fighting the Han forces again. Oh, I thought we'd be fighting Wu Biao. I guess it has nothing to do with Wu Biao unless Wu Biao summoned the Han forces after he took his castle. Alright then, so that was part 3 of Sang Jiao's campaign, the Battle of Shangban. An interesting ride in overall. I like the fact that I didn't have to rush for once. I had to keep pedants alive, but didn't have to panic and rush to a, the boats or anything. So, what do you all think? Did you like the changes to that battle? Or do you think they should have kept the escape option as a victory condition? And what do you think will happen next time in the surprise attack on Wu Biao? Will Wu Biao be involved, or will it just be an excuse to use his map? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll catch you all next time for part 4 of Zhang Jiao's Muzu campaign. Have a good day!